What's up? What's up? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Carolina Panthers Talk video brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Tube. I'm your host, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram. So, just wanted to get on here just to give another, another little coaching staff update uh, for the Carolina Panthers as two more moves have been made uh, with a potential third and fourth move on the way but we're going to get into the two moves that have been confirmed and you know we'll talk a little bit around those moves and potentially others before we get started uh remember to check out the link in the description for game beauty for an impressive lineup of video game themed makeup and cosmetic products and if you see something you're interested in be sure if you make a purchase Use the promo code BLITZBALLCHAMP, all in caps, and you can get 10% off of your order. So be sure to put that to good use. Anyway, let's talk about the latest acquisitions for the Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers just recently added former GM for Special Forces by the name of Brian Decker. Um... So apparently, Frank Reich, uh, and this is according to the article on Panthers.com, so Frank Reich wanted to build something bigger than a football team. So apparently, one of the calls that he wanted to make was Brian Decker. So Brian Decker is a former Special Forces captain, and the role is going to be the Panthers' new Vice President of Development, which a wide-ranging job that will accompany, will encompass a number of duties. Duties like helping to evaluate incoming players to developing players and coaches alike once they arrive. Wow. Sounds like a pretty big responsibility. Um... And apparently, this is somebody that Frank Wright highly endorses and speaks very highly of. Um, Brian Decker, a 51-year-old former Green Beret who served in two rotations of combat duty fighting in Fallujah and Ramadi in Iraq in 04. Huh. Um, let's see. So he's served in the Special Forces. Wow. Comes to the Panthers with other experiences during his 22 years of military service. Um, he ran Special Forces Assessment and Selection Program. So, it sounds like he's pretty much going to be in a, I guess, high-level talent evaluation, scouting, recruiting sort of position. I mean, vice president of development. Sounds like a mouthful. And, you know, apparently he's worked... He's worked so long in the military, I guess this is where he kind of feeds off of. I mean, it's he's not a name that I'm familiar with, but apparently part of his job is going to be evaluating draft prospects. So, I mean, I can imagine he's going to be very busy with the Combine, and with scouting. That's that's the impression that I'm getting. But he talked about programs that he hopes to implement to develop players and coaches alike. The same way he did in the special forces. So it sounds like a big part of him is gonna take all that he's learned 
from his time in the Special Forces and apply it to football. I mean... I mean, I, I, I guess that I guess that's pretty cool. Like I said, I, I can't say a whole lot because I, I don't really know the guy. I don't really know to what level of importance he brings, but it sounds like a big deal. It sounds like a big deal. I mean, vice president of development? It sounds like a big deal. That's all that's all I can really say. And I and I'll put the uh, link to the article in the description, but it's it sounds like a lot. It definitely sounds like a lot. But welcome to the organization, uh, Brian Decker. Hope hope it goes well. Hope he can really bring forth a lot in order to help the Panthers organization uh, with the players, talent coaching, all of the above. And then, apparently, the Carolina Panthers ended up signing defensive line coach Todd Wash. 54 years old. He brings 16 years of NFL coaching experience. Uh, he was most recently the defensive line coach for the Detroit Lions the last two seasons. Okay. Okay. Right on, right on. Originally got his start with the Buccaneers in the NFL um, in 07. He's also coached with the Seahawks and Jaguars. And he was the defensive coordinator for five years with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay. He's also worked alongside Dom Capers in 2019. But, of course, now Dom Capers, you know, senior defensive assistant under Coach Averro with the Panthers now that Coach Averro is the defensive coordinator for the Panthers. And there's also an article on five things to know about Todd Wash. He's not a name that I'm familiar with, that's for sure. Anyway. Let's take a look at the five things to know about Todd Wash. Number one, started NFL coaching alongside Ajiro Averro. It says, Wash and new Panthers defensive coordinator Ajiro Averro entered the NFL coaching at the same time, coming on as defensive quality control coaches at Tampa Bay under head coach John Gruden in 07. Wash remained with the Buccaneers as their defensive line coach from 2008 to 2010, while Averro continued to work as defensive quality control coach in Tampa through 2009. So these two know each other very well. Number two, latest stint in Detroit. Wash spent two seasons coaching the, the Lions defensive line under head coach Dan Campbell and spent the 2022 season coaching highly touted defensive end Aiden Hutchinson to a strong rookie season. Hutchinson made the PFWA all-rookie team after posting nine and a half sacks and three interceptions. Not bad. Number three, his past with coach Dom Capers. Wash has worked with senior defensive assistant Dom Capers twice. First time was with the Jaguars in 2019 and then again with the Lions in 2021. Capers worked in the same role he'll have with the Panthers in Jacksonville and Detroit. So, senior defense, defensive assistant. Number four, his long tenure in Jacksonville. Wash was the, with, with the Jaguars for eight total seasons, working as defensive line coach and running game coordinator from 2013 to 2015 before moving to defensive coordinator from 2016 to 2020. During that time, he worked with defensive lineman Calais Campbell and mentored him to three straight Pro Bowls, which was from 2017 to 2019. Campbell posted 14 and a half sacks in 2017, which was the second most in the NFL that year. So, and we, and we have him as defensive line coach. So, 
hopefully he will be able to be a big help on the folks on our defensive line and whatever talent we bring on. So here's hoping. And then number five, he actually has connections to Scott Fitterer and Dan Morgan. It says, Wash's two-year stint in Seattle as defensive line coach from 2011 to 2012 coincided with Panthers general manager Scott Fitterer's time as director of college scouting. After all, he, Scott Fitterer was with Seattle before he came to Carolina. The Panthers' assistant general manager, Dan Morgan, was also with the Seahawks during this time, working as assistant director of pro personnel. So, you know, a couple of relationships there that Todd Wash has with our coaching staff. So, hey, I think that's pretty cool. And, you know... I hope that he'll do a better job than I think we had Paul Pasqualani uh, before on defensive line, and, and and that just didn't go too well. But you know what? I, I think he'll I think he'll do a, a better job. This this Todd Wash, I mean he's coached up Calais Campbell. Maybe he can you know help improve. Maybe perhaps help improve Derek Brown, uh, YGM. Brian Burns, you know what I mean? And and there's still much room for improvement on the D-line, for sure. For sure. But, but yeah. So, Brian Decker for Vice President of Development and Todd Wash, Defensive Line Coach. Now, word is that supposedly... According to Ian Rappaport, that the Panthers plan on hiring Burt Watts as their safeties coach, which Burt Watts apparently coached the Broncos outside linebackers last season and supposedly could have a future as a defensive coordinator down the line. Don't know, but we'll see. But nothing's been made official yet, so we're still waiting on the official word for that. But it sounds like Burt Watts' as safeties coach may be the next move. And there's another rumor that potentially Thomas Brown, who would be coming from the Rams, could potentially be the Panthers' offensive coordinator. Apparently, I think the word is he interviewed with Carolina. So we'll have to see what happens. But Thomas Brown could be the new offensive coordinator. But we'll see. We'll see. But that is, that's all that I have for now. Um, this Coaching staff is continuing to look more and more solid. So with that being said, let's actually look to see who we have now. Let's look to see who we have now. So hold up. Let me let me pull this up. Okay. So, head coach Frank Wright, for offense, James Campen is offensive line coach, Parks Frazier is passing game coordinator, Robert Kugler is assistant offensive line coach, Josh McCown, quarterbacks coach, Deuce Staley, assistant head coach and running backs coach. Uh, on defense, you have... Ajiro Averro is defensive coordinator. Dom Capers, senior defensive assistant. Jonathan Cooley, secondary slash cornerbacks coach. Peter Hansen, linebackers coach. Todd Wash, defensive line coach. You got Chris Tabor as special teams coordinator. And you have assistant, senior assistant Jim Caldwell. And then, of course, we just added Brian Decker as vice president of development. So that's 
That's what we're looking like so far with the coaching staff. It's looking more and more beastly. But, so that just means that we just have the safeties coach left, which it looks like that might be getting ready to be filled, and offensive coordinator. And we still, we still need a wide receivers coach and tight ends coach. So we're almost there. We're almost there. We're, just, we're still trucking away. But I like what they're doing so far. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. Um, like I said, don't forget to check out the link to Game Beauty as well as the other links from Panthers.com that I'll include in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are. What do y'all think about the acquisition of Vice President of Development, Brian Decker, uh, used to be part of the Special Forces, and also Defensive Line Coach Todd Wash. Let me know what y'all's thoughts are. Thank you so much for watching. For another Carolina Panthers talk brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming here on the U to the Two, I'm your host, Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed weekend, and I will see y'all in the next video. Take care. Peace out.